Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to share one uh, sutra by the disciple of the Buddha. Uh, from the connected discourses is a recording uh, of what the Buddha teaching and come to the second uh, sutra that I mentioned called Machima Nikaya, means after the Buddha life, uh, then uh, the disciple, the second, the third, the fourth generation of disciple, they try to have their own study and their own uh, correction, means they summarize the teaching of the Buddha and form the teaching, form the training of themselves by the uh, disciple of the Buddha. So that is how I, I understand from the Chinese resources, uh, the connected discourses is close to the Buddha's lifetime. And after the Buddha lifetime, then Majjitma Nikaya, Deta Nikaya, Anguttara Nikaya means all these teaching will come uh, by showing the teaching from the disciple of the Buddha. So the, uh, here is one teaching that uh, form called all the tens, or the, what we call that, uh, all the defilements need to be cut off. They put it into seven point, this seven point that is called the tents or the defilement or something you need to move it away, fermentation. I found it in two uh, languages. One is Pali languages by Pico Bodhi translation and by Tanisaro uh, Pico translation. And another one is from the Chinese Agama teaching. So the Agama talk about how to uh, avoid leak, means something is leak, means the water have some break or holes, uh, they leak, means that the defilement, it leaks from what you not concentrate, not seals or not uh, letting go. So it will start in the burning. So the smoke come up, the fire come up. Yeah. So need to totally need to seal off, not let it leak. But another sutra is from An Sugao. An Sugao is the, 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 the almost the end of the first century to the second century in Han Dynasty. The early, very early, uh, is from Afghanistan monks come to China. Uh, An Sugao is Afghanistan monk in the end of first century and the second century, he come to China. So he do the translation. So uh, he, he translated it as uh, for so it che liu so se ying jing. He don't use the, 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 the word of uh, tense or defilement, but he used the word of flow, like the water flow. He used that word flow, means uh, something is flow. You know how to stop the flow like that. Yeah. So his translation have more interested and more uh, formation there. Yeah. So I pick it together to form today's uh, uh, sharing. So this sharing is uh, uh, very simple, but the whole life maybe we put it into concern, it's not overcome easy, but it need to be 
her concern as a whole pack. Yeah. In order that uh, we can see how this uh, proper teaching can uh, 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 make our life more advanced, you know, and make our uh, development, uh, you know, try to be uh, purifying, not much uh, that kind of uh, adding wood, you know, and resources into burning. How to let us cease fire part by part like that. So the first one is called uh, seeing. You see? So seeing means the perception or the, your idea, your, 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 your knowledge, you know, uh, your viewpoint like that. Called seeing. Uh, here is seeing the reality talking about reality. So the Buddha talking about reality. What is the reality? Reality is nothing can be attached. Nothing can be grabbed. Nothing can be clinged like that. From bodily clinging into mental clinging like that. All is called viewpoint. So that is a very profound. If someone they are seeing that nothing can be clean, then he is a noble personality. Only a noble personality will put his mental value into more higher perspective. And uh, not the noble personality, we call that not the holy man, means uh, 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 we, in the religious point means uh, you are a very open. Uh, you're ready to sacrifice, you're ready to give, you're ready to practice, you're ready to have faith like that in the Western point. In the Buddhist point, that means that you see the true reality, impermanent changing. You need to let go of one self attachment. Self-attachment need to be let go. If no self-attachment can be found, why we use this self to burn? So this will point, we call them, to see the reality in order that we quickly before aging, illness, and dying come, you already release. You're already working for your habitual pattern of release. This is called the will point. So in the Chinese Ansukao translation, they have more profound meaning talking about what is the common personality and what is the noble pers uh, uh, personality when they see things. Yeah. Not only see the life right now, but he will see more deeper, you know, how to make this, you know, mind changing into more, you know, deep and profound meaning in his own mind purification. So this is when answer called translation. I see he used the word liu, meaning the, the, the flow. You know, uh, our flow have the three flow. One is a desire flow. Uh, the second one is existence flow. The third one is ignorance flow. Ah, we, our flow have these three stuck there. But we don't have one thing in the flow. That's called the Dharma flow. So in our mind, there a noble personality, his viewpoint only, no matter what viewpoint is, only Dharma is flow there. Means the Dharma is carry on flow. You know, in a, a common personality, ignorant flow, you know, greed, hatred, flow there. 
So flow with what? Showing with desire, showing with uh, existence. So this is the first one. The second one of talking about, you know, abandoning, we talk about discipline. The second one is like just now I said three points. It's called how to guard your senses contact on. Means you try not let your senses contact into burning, into the, the burning. It will let your senses con contact and then move forward into the feeling of burning. Burning means desire burning, hatred burning, and then the, what we call that, the ignorance burning. Yeah. We pick up the stupid thing into viewpoint. See? And then uh, when stupid thing come to your viewpoint, become your, 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 your attach point, then you will make harm and hurt, not benefit in release. Yeah. Maybe later on you know, but in that moment you don't know. Yeah, that we call it ignore. Yeah. So this is the second part talking about uh, risk training. And the third part talking about uh, in, in the Chinese side, we have a little bit opposite way. And uh, we talk about this part is uh, moving forward into the third, third one is called, but we, we can use, use it in the same. It's just the order is a little bit different. The daily life, uh, clothing, eating, you know, transportation, and uh, other belonging in the daily life, we try to become a more simplicity. We try to be uh, not concerned like uh, someone that have a particular desire into something. You know, uh, like in in, in uh, uh, what I can say, a little bit example in the northern part of the China. Uh, because they are not, not have a lot of sugar. They like to eat salty food. Yeah. So salty food become uh, one pattern. Yeah. And then in the uh, uh, Chongqing, close to, to uh, Vietnam, this side, and uh, because of the weather is very humid, uh, like Southeast China. So they like to eat chili food, hot food. And, and uh, uh, in Thailand, you know, Thailand is very challenging as monk life right now because of all the food you've been found sweet. Here only when we eat sweet, then we have sweet. But in Thailand, all food you can find sweet. Too much sweet. So uh, 10 of the monks, seven of them diabetes. I don't say the society outside, I say monks. So until the government uh, complain, oh, so you, you take this food to monks, don't take all these uh, good things for them. Because too much become poison, become something bad thing. Or is uh, so what we said that the too much uh, things, uh, material support, and it will spoil. It will become something that side effect. So here is some something that uh, proper of using in monastic life really important because of if uh, you take too much uh, material to the life then later on your habitual pattern will change it into like the spoiled child to clinging in certain thing, not make sense of the practice in simplicity, in uh, more in now, 
and then uh, content in the life of using uh, all these proper requisites. This is something they've said. And then one more thing to, to go is uh, endurance, talking about uh, uh, how we uh, can, you know, become patient and tolerant into uh, the environment, into the training, like uh, when we train meditation, seven day meditation in the retreat, or we train ourselves into studying the sutra, maybe too much information in short time, and you lost your patience. Uh, maybe too much of practice, like uh, go to the intensive retreat. One day we'll go uh, eight hour to ten hour. Uh, in my monastic, we we'll go to fourteen hour to sixteen hour. Yeah. yeah, right. Like right now we are in the uh, uh, what we call ourselves in the refraction day, refraction year. In this year. You know, much of my time is at least 14 hours a day in the studying and practicing. Yeah. No matter where you go, you're focusing in here. You will not have service anymore too much. So all you go is become uh, challenging in your uh, endurance. Means patient and forbidden, forbearance, means you, you need to try, try to be a, a good temper when facing to stress. So that is a challenging into our uh, working desire, working skill, and working discipline. I use the word working means you do something. This is something is not a normal uh, uh, working. You're working into a special uh, professional training. So that desire need to keep, you know, connected into the desire. Otherwise then you will give up. You have not strong desire in something to uh, uh, achievement, then you will give up easy. So the working desire. Maybe you're talking about training desire. So the second one is skill, working skill. Means how you're going to uh, learn and study the, in, in the Dharma. They have a, a, a connected, you know, skillful me. Yeah. Like me, I trained in the first skillful me in, in, uh, in Thailand, what is the learning of Dharma? They use three, you know, often, I use it, three often. Often remembering, often chanting, and uh, often contemplating. Yeah. You see, they use that kind of, means something you already, uh, from chanting means uh, day and night. You don't have to special remember. You just said uh, every day chant, chanting, kick it out and read it three times. Put it there. One or two months you already remember. So you already remember. Maybe in that time uh, you don't have to kick out the paper. You, you chant it by mind because you already remember. So often chanting, come to often remembering, then often contemplating, means that everything you see, what you, you want to question it, you use this kind of Dharma to check it, to observe it, to be the basic, to see things by the Dharma. To contemplate something by the Dharma because the Dharma will purify the divine. The Dharma will help you to take out, you know, abandoning all the tents. It is the tool to cut off something that 
make your life being caught. This is become the, the learning basic for me. It's a need to be patient, very patient. In order that when right now, I don't need much patience because until today's life, patience become certain, not uncertain. It will be become a habit or pattern. You know, when the aging come, everything become easy. Mind become more mature. Yeah, the desire become more concentrated in desire. Desire of what? Just now I said desire, skillful, mean, and discipline. It become connected together. So the life become more easy to grow. So here, when life become easy to go, then you turn your quality into what I use a word to say. This is what I feel happy means a, a good leader. You don't have to look for reputation, look for people's uh, grab hand. You don't have to because the quality turn into good leader. Noble disciple is a noble friendship. Then we go into another one is called uh, avoid. If you don't carry that kind of quality that you need to become uh, uh, by avoid, avoiding for what? Avoiding of uh, evil friend, evil environment, and evil skill. Make sense? I don't say that uh, all the li living skill is evil, but uh, some skill is uh, not high standard into spiritual or into lilies. If you, you, you put too much time on it, it only help you to make living or it only help you to make certain, you know, what we call that, uh, like, like you put a lot of training into the game, you know, it only help you to, uh, uh, we call them spend your time when you are boring but that skill is not help you to make better living maybe it will, will only uh, give you some fun maybe sometimes the, the game will keep you up because you build up another kind of uh, habitual pattern by the game then it will make harm to yourself and to others. So this is not the, the skill that is, uh, in Buddhism says is called avoid because of it is evil or unwholesome. We use the word unwholesome. So here is a saying a lot about uh, in the sutra mentioned about why by avoiding because wholesome and unwholesome. Like what I am in Thailand, we do the chanting. Kusala Thamma, Kusala Thamma, Apaya Kata Thamma. They talk about all this is guideline. Good Dhamma, you know, and then unwholesome Dhamma is a Dhamma because a Dhamma is two sides. You need to see what is the good side, what is the bad side, which way you, you need to connect the, and which way you need to uh, avoid it. Okay, the, uh, uh, the number six one is called removing. Uh, this one is a very challenging in life, removing. Only in, in uh, the go into more deep into the mindset is removing of three poison just now i mentioned so all the to, from number six come to number one all is connected with the three poison 
But when talk into this uh, uh, call, uh, need to remove means someone is uh, talking about, he already practice his mind. Uh, he already avoid a lot of feeling. So his mind is more concentrated and sometimes his mind is rising uh, the, the greed. Sometimes his mind is rising hatred. Sometimes he is not aware, become ignorant. But this uh, uh, mind rising, changing into the poison is not often, you know. It's more already released, but from time to time, it still have something. Maybe one week, anger one time, you found there, ah, something that make my mind angry, you know. Uh, it's not open like that. Mostly it's happy life. His mind is more joyful and more relieved, but still have something there. So this call that I need to be more focusing into the training. Why? Because when number six come, then you almost go to enlighten. Your life will be changing, changing into what? Changing into noble personality very close to that maturing. So in the mature of this personality, you need to work more hard because uh, make your mind, make your mind training into absorption. Means uh, the right concentrate all the time is a very important message. So in that personality, uh, you don't need to push him he will have the very strong refraction in the six because his life come to number six already not training into the body like four satipatthana body feeling mind mind formation he's not in the body and feeling he's come to the mind training in number six so avoid uh, uh, removing is a very important one for him. So from here that uh, you need to more concern into the uh, practice uh, factor. Number seven is talk about practice factor. Four uh, is the seven factors of awakening here. So seven factors of awakening is uh, Practice let you always uh, go into samatha and insight. So we call that uh, stillness meditation and insight meditation. That kind of self refraction of awareness, awake and awake all the time, is checking awake and awake. So his mind is not like this uh, five. The five, uh, five hindrance uh, take over the mind state. And when the life come to exterior world of uh, connection, uh, socialize that he don't let the six senses uh, 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 pressure take over his mind state. So he is always concerned about this. Five desire burning, not involved. Five hindrances, not let it uh, uh, develop and six senses space always become restrained so this is called the, the life who training the seven factors of awakening so we call that seven factor to cut off the leak we use the seven factor in the uh, uh, answer Gao translate, he called them seven factors to cut off the leak, the defilement, and totally let his mind overcome or purify. Okay. This is uh, what I'm going to be sharing with you uh, today.
uh, after reading many times of this sutra, uh, because of uh, last week, uh, I'm going to share this sutra with uh, the, the Sunday program. But last week, uh, because of too cold, uh, <laughs> so that we uh, uh, decide in the uh, last moment, close down. Uh, uh, no activity. So then, uh, no activity, what can I do? So I <laughs> check my note again. So this is what I write for myself. Uh, this is uh, something that I, I write for myself. And then uh, the Chinese one is what I mean. But the English one is uh, right now, I try to learn better English. So I do my own translation. I don't know it come to the meaning or not, but I try my best already. This is a uh, uh, two point that I write down. Is uh, the first one is called right view uh, by seeing. So by seeing, I come out three sentences. Uh, he who foresees great change wind the Chinese is like that you know and uh, right now we don't see big change big change uh, right now I want to say is not only the life uh, is a reform changing but the world right now is big mass have the big change you can see it you know, the world will come into big changing. Who are strong will become weak. Who are weak come to become strong. You know, and the connection with here and it, it's uh, become uh, uh, destroyed. And the connection with that, it form. World become big change. Nation to nation, culture to culture. Some is going you know, what we call that decline. Some will try to become strong and show his leadership. Big change. I, this is what I mean. And the disciple too, no matter what is the changing that, if we don't change our mental state into more awakened and aware, then you are not in this path. Okay, the second one, uh, those who react with insights will lose. Hindsight will, uh, hand, hindsight, uh, hindsight will lose. Lose. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, you know, some, sometimes people like the scholar is very sensitive. Uh, the thing is not appear in the big picture. He already know. He already see by little bit, you know, string, he already can see the big picture. But for us, the thing happened, then we start to cry. Let me make an example. You know, in, in, in our old days, uh, the, the, the family, he, he, he have a dog. His dog is come to that, uh, you know, corner, always grab that. Then he will see old oh, string. And he will check the, 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 the grabbing there. And he found, Oh, that is uh, the, the gas leaking there, the gas leaking there. He quickly go and uh, tell gas, you know, supplier, come and make change. You know, for, for us, our smell is not better than the dog. The dog always in there. So that he found something that uh, not proper, then 
he check, checking. And the householder too, he found the dog is not normal action. So he checked, saved the life. See? So he is, uh, the, this is the, the second, you know, sentence so I, I want to mean. Life for us also like that. Who is sharp in mind, then he will be more wise. Who is not sharp in mind, maybe he is late, too late. Then you will put yourself into stress. The third one. Those who are stubborn will please perish. <laughs> the stubbornness means you already have a, a very fixed mental uh, uh, viewpoint. Means if very fixed in certain uh, viewpoint. It's good. Like a Buddhism, we talk about, we want to fix our mind into certain viewpoint. What certain viewpoint? Non-self viewpoint, empty viewpoint, compassion viewpoint. You know, if you connected with that, maybe it makes sense. Really wise viewpoint, then it makes sense. But what does that mean? I still looking for it. Still cannot find that result yet. But that perception is something that may be more reliable. I guess I can use the word reliable, but the, the mind cannot, you know, match to it and become stick to it. That is something that I, I said. Willpoint is a willpoint, but the mind is not stick to something that I feel. Uh, 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 reliable. I feel refuge. So I need to work hard. Still need to work hard. So that is what I want to say. Number two to number seven, I only use one uh, word to say that is called practice brings true knowledge. Yeah, I Number two to number seven, I use the word so I divided into two parts of this seven uh, sequence of teaching. Number one, will and the practice. Practice will make you to change. Change to what? Change it to the path. Change it to the correct way out uh, to release your mind. Yeah. So conclusion, I put it into two. Make decision before acting. Knowing how to stop and gain something. In Chinese, moting a hu dong zi zi er yu de. Chinese is more the deep into the meaning, but the, in in the uh, English I translation is something that. Uh, make decision before acting. So that decision is sometimes we make decision. Ah, I want to do that. But that decision is not, not firm and deep enough to see things. That we need to always adjust, adjust, adjust until that uh, in the Western word say the faith. Faith means he already certain, very firm. In something. So make decision means you're, you're going to study, study, observing, observing again, practice, practice again until the whole planning becomes decision. You see it very clear. So that action becomes more powerful and profound. It's not easy to shaking and changing. So I mean that. That is called something you gain. In the life, in spiritual life, is very challenging. 
are not much easy to go. Uh, I want to make an example before I go. In the early, early years, that's, I think then the third year, 1995, when I was here, and then when this meditation hall was in, uh, built by me, half of it, and half by the construction, and 1997, 98, we have uh, the uh, uh, one, uh, in that time, I teach Tai Chi. I teach exercise martial art. So uh, the student come, to, uh, more students come in that time is uh, 25 to 35 people come to learn, learning. Uh, one uh, gentleman who want to learn Tai Chi, I put a lot of time help him to learn Tai Chi. And in, in his life, he come back and learn Tai Chi three times. You know, 1998 to today, how many years already? Almost 26 years. Yeah, at least 20, 20, 24, 24 years. He come back to learn three times. You know, the last time so one to want to learn it again is because of he take retire in uh, South America, want to teach Tai Chi there to make the way. Only learn the 24 form. You know, one form of Tai Chi is how. 24 movement. He want to learn the 24 movement three times. He spent a lot of my time. So the, the last time want to come and learn, want to teach them there, I, I, I said no. I said no to him. Yeah, this is uh, for, for me is a uh, really crucial, crucial, not compassion. Why? Because he is aging. When he stand there, he can stand properly. So how can you uh, master the skill and teach people uh, without uh, a, a good body leadership? Tai Chi need a very good body leadership. So you don't train until you carry that performance in balancing the body and teach people Tai Chi like Tai Chi. You already give up many times, learn it again and again and again and again from the beginner. How can you say you have decision before acting? So that kind of, uh, 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 what I say, when, why people is professional, why people have no skill is here in the decision. Yeah, so right decision to, to, for something, you really need to, in the American way, to say is where you really need to be investigated. Probably, I do investigating uh, things again and again until I really understand it, then I make decision to act like that. Buddhism is like this. So start from viewpoint, come into the practice, and come into the end, you achieve the viewpoint. So you have the faith, you have the result of the viewpoint. Thank you.